Lucius Septimius Sudanus, Latinized as Odanathus, was the founder king of the Palmyrene kingdom centered at the city of Palmyra, Syria. He lifted his city from the position of a regional center subordinate to Rome into the supreme power in the east. Odanathus was born into an aristocratic Palmyrene family who had received Roman citizenship in the 190s under the Severan dynasty. He was the son of Hare and the descendant of Nassau. The circumstances surrounding his rise are ambiguous. He became the lord of the city, a position created for him, as early as the 240s and by 258. He was styled a consularize, indicating a high status in the Roman Empire. The defeat and captivity of Emperor Valerian at the hands of the Persian Sasanian monarch Shapur I in 260 left the eastern Roman provinces largely at the mercy of the Persians. Odanathus stayed on the side of Rome, assuming the title of king. He led the Palmyrene army and fell upon the Persians before they could cross the Euphrates to the eastern bank, and inflicted upon them a considerable defeat. Then, Odanathus took the side of Emperor Gallienus, the son and successor of Valerian, who was facing the usurpation of Fulvius Macrianus. The rebel declared his sons emperors, leaving one in Syria and taking the other with him to Europe. Odanathus attacked the remaining usurper and quelled the rebellion. He was rewarded many exceptional titles by the emperor who formalized his self-established position in the east. In reality, the emperor could have done little but to accept the declared nominal loyalty of Odanathus. In a series of rapid and successful campaigns starting in 262, he crossed the Euphrates and recovered Carre and Nisibus. He then took the offensive to the heartland of Persia, and arrived at the walls of its capital city Siphon. The city withstood the short siege but Odanathus reclaimed the entirety of Roman lands occupied by the Persians since the beginning of their invasions in 252. Odanathus celebrated his victories and declared himself king of kings, crowning his son Heroni as co-king. By 263, Odanathus was in effective control of the Levant, Mesopotamia and Anatolia's eastern region. Odanathus observed all due formalities towards the emperor, but in practice ruled as an independent monarch. In 266, the king launched a second invasion of Persia but had to abandon the campaign and head north to Bithynia to repel the attacks of Germanic riders besieging the city of Heracleponticus. He was assassinated in 267 during or immediately after the Anatolian campaign, together with Heron. The identities of the perpetrator or the instigator are unknown and many stories, accusations and speculations exist in ancient sources. He was succeeded by his son Vabelephus under the regency of his widow Zenobia, who used the power established by Odanathus to forge the Palmyrene Empire in 270. Name Odanathus I in origin. Odanathus is the Roman version of the king's name who was born Lucius Septimius Udanath c. 220 AD. Udanath is the king's personal name, an Arabic name that means little ear. Septimius was the family's gentilicium adopted as an expression of loyalty to the Roman Severan dynasty whose emperor Septimius Severus granted the family Roman citizenship in the late 2nd century. In the Temple of Bel at Palmyra, a stone block with a sepulchral inscription was found mentioning the building of a tomb and recording the genealogy of the builder. Odanathus, son of Hare and son of W.A.H.B. Alat, son of Nassau. Traditional scholarship believed the builder to be an ancestor of the king and he was given the designation Odanathus I. In an inscription dated to 251, the name of the Ras of Palmyra Heron son of Odanathus is written, and he was thought to be the son of Odanathus I. Prior to the 1980s, the earliest known inscription attesting King Odanathus was dated to 257, leading traditional scholarship to believe that Heron Ras of Palmyra is the father of the king and that Odanathus I was his grandfather. 
However, an inscription published in 1985 by archaeologist Michael Gavlikovsky and dated to 252 mentions King Odanathus as a Ras, and records the same genealogy found in the sepulchral inscription confirming the name of King Odanathus a grandfather as W.A.H.B. Allot. Therefore, it is certain that King Odanathus is the builder of the tomb ruling out the existence of Odanathus I. Ras Heron mentioned in the 251 inscription is identical with Odanathus her elder son and co-ruler Prince Heron I. The origin of the family is Aramean, while the king himself appears to be of mixed Aramean and Arab descent. His name is Arabic, while the names of his ancestors are Aramaic. Zosimus asserted that Odanathus descended from illustrious forebears, but the position of the family in Palmyra is debated. It was probably part of the wealthy mercantile class. Alternatively, the family could have belonged to the tribal leadership who amassed a fortune as landowners and patrons of the Palmyrene caravans. Indura Europos a relief dated to 159 was commissioned by Heron son of Maliko son of Nassau. This Heron might have been the head of the Palmyrene trade colony in Jura Europos and probably belonged to the same family of Odanathus. Nassau, father of Maliko mentioned in the Jura Europos inscription could therefore be Odanathus a great-great-great-grandfather. Rise. Palmyra was an autonomous city subordinate to Rome and part of Syria Phoenicia province. Odanathus descended from an aristocratic family, albeit not a royal one as the city was ruled by a council and had no tradition of hereditary monarchy. Bilingual inscriptions from Palmyra record the title of the Palmyrene ruler as Ras in Palmyrene and Exarchos in Greek, meaning the Lord of Palmyra. The title was created for Odanathus, and was not a usual title in the Roman Empire or a part of the traditional Palmyrene governance institutions. Whether it indicated a military or a priestly position is unknown, but the military role is more likely. The rise of the aggressive Sasanian Empire in 224 and the Iranian incursions which affected Palmyrene trade, combined with the weakness of the Roman Empire were probably the reasons behind the Palmyrene Council's decision to elect a lord for the city in order for him to lead a strengthened army. The Ras title enabled the bearer to tackle the difficult situation that arose due to the Sasanian insurgencies. The supreme authority of the Ras probably made him the supreme civil and military commander with authority over the entire Palmyrene army which was previously decentralized and led by different generals. Ras of Palmyra an undated inscription refers to Odanathus as a Ras and records the gift of a throne to him by a Palmyrene citizen named Ogai Lusan, of Makari Hadudan Hadda, which confirms the supreme character of Odanathus a title. The earliest known inscriptions mentioning the title are dated to October 251 and April 252. The 251 inscription refer to Odanathus her eldest son, Heron I as Ras while the 252 inscription mention Odanathus with that title. Heron I was apparently elevated to co-lordship status by his father. Although the written evidence for Odanathus' lordship dates to 251, it is possible that he acquired the title as early as the 240s, following the death of Roman Emperor Gordian III in 244 during a campaign against Persia. The Palmyrenes might have elected Odanathus to defend the city. Odanathus was described as Roman senator in the undated tomb inscription and Heroni was mentioned with the same title in the 251 inscription. Scholarly opinions vary on the exact date of Odanathus or elevation to the position. Gavlikovsky and Jean Starkey maintain that the senatorial rank predates the Ras elevation. Udo Hartmann concludes that Odanathus first became a Ras in the 240s then a senator in 250. Another possibility is that the senatorial rank in lordship occurred simultaneously. Odanathus was chosen as a Ras following Gordian's death. Then after Philip the Arab concluded a peace with the Persians, 
the emperor ratified Odanathus to lordship and admitted him to the Senate to guarantee Palmyra's continuous subordination. As early as the 240s, Odanathus inflated the Palmyrene army, recruiting the desert nomads and increasing the numbers of the Palmyrene heavy cavalry units. In 252, Persian Emperor Shapur I started a full-scale invasion of the Roman provinces in the east. During the second campaign of the invasion, Shapur conquered Antioch and headed south where his advance was checked in 253 by a Messes priest King Uranius Antoninus. The events of 253 were mentioned in the works of the 6th century historian John Malalas who also mentioned a leader by the name of Inathus, inflicting a defeat upon the retreating Shapur near the Euphrates. Inathus is probably identical with Odanathus, and while Malalas' account indicate that Odanathus defeated the Persians in 253, there is no proof that the Palmyrene leader engaged Shapur before 260 and Malala's account seems to be confusing Odanathus of future actions during 260 with the events of 253. Shapur I destroyed the Palmyrene trade colonies all along the Euphrates. Peter the Patrician says that Odanathus approached Shapur to negotiate. Palmyrene interests but was rebuffed and the gifts sent to the Persians were thrown into the river. The date for the attempted negotiations is debated. Some scholars including John F. Drinkwater set the event in 253 while others such as Alaric Watson set it in 256 following the destruction of Juro Europos. Governor of Syria Phoenice several inscriptions dating to the end of 257 or early 258 show Odanathus bearing the title Lambda Alpha Mu Pi Rho O Micron Tau Alpha Tau O Micron Sigma Pi Alpha Tau Iota Kappa O Micron Sigma. This could be a mere honoring or a sign that he was appointed as the Legatus of Phoenice. However, the title was sometimes used in Syria to denote the provincial governor and William Waddington proposed that Odanathus was indeed the governor of Phoenicia. Five of the inscriptions mentioning Odanathus as consul are dated to the Seleucid year 569 during which no governor for Phoenicia is attested, which might indicate that this was Odanathus a year of governorship. In the city of Tyre, Phoenix's capital, the lines to Septimius Odanathus, the most illustrious, the Septimian colony of Tyre, were found inscribed on a marble base. The inscription is not dated and if it was set after 257 then it indicates that Odanathus was appointed as the governor of the province. These speculations cannot be proven without doubt but as a governor, Odanathus would have been the highest authority in the province and above any legionary commander and provincial officials, this would make him the commander of the Roman forces in the province. Whatever the case may be, starting from 258, Odanathus strengthened his position and extended his political influence in the region. By 260, Odanathus held the rank, credibility and power to pacify the Roman East following the Battle of Edessa. Edessa faced with Shapur's third campaign. The Roman Emperor Valerian marched against the Persian monarch but was defeated near Edessa in late spring 260 and taken as a prisoner. The Persian Emperor then ravaged Cappadocia, Cilicia and claimed to have captured Antioch, the metropolis of Syria. Taking advantage of the situation, Fulvius Macrianus, the commander of the imperial treasury, declared his sons Quietus and Macrianus Minor as joint emperors in August 260 opposing Valerian's son Gallianus. Shapur was defeated in the region of Sebasta at Pompeiopolis prompting the Persians to evacuate Cilicia while Ballista went back to Antioch. Ballista's victory was only partial, as Shapur withdrew east of Cilicia where the marauding Persian units continued to occupy the area. While a Persian force took advantage of Ballista's return to Syria and headed further west in Anatolia, 